So to me, this conference is about uh, connecting people in a very meaningful and substantial way to the information they need to make really sound and effective judgments. And I think as we enter this 21st century, we need to be paying more attention today than perhaps ever before uh, uh, to the development of leaders and, uh, and the exercise of leadership in our society. Uh, the rhetoric surrounding the major issues and challenges of our time is highly polarized at the moment. Uh, we're not getting the kinds of solutions we need from the conventional political parties. And that makes it all the more important for local leaders who have a real investment in the future of their communities to be courageous in the exercise of their responsibilities each and every day. And that, that means all of us. The key piece that I really bring is a kind of having a chance to have worked a lot in the business community, in the uh, nonprofit community, um, kind of really some cross-sector um, and bringing together those ideas and helping to, to connect people between uh, different organizations. Really it's the, about building the partnerships and, uh, and learning from each other, learning the best, best practices. Um, the resources we have here, the alumni of all these leadership development programs are really an untapped resource for faculty and staff who are doing outreach already, who want to get more involved in their community, who want to bring local information and knowledge into their research or teaching programs or outreach programs. And really it's about building and connecting a network, the large network of folks like that at the university, faculty and staff, and the large network of people who have worked with the university in leadership development programs and who are alumni of those programs and who really want to look to the university for help. It's a fabulous opportunity to be around a wealth of diverse, bright, passionate people who want to do good by their communities. It's nice to see the the work of that's hap that I see happening in my community in the context of many other communities across the state of Minnesota. And to be able to step back a little bit and see the commonalities and the differences too between what's what what's happening. I think we all we're all here by choice. Whether we were born here or we moved here, we all choose to stay here. Which means that we have a vested interest in seeing it grow and blossom into something even greater than it currently is. And I, I would say that having traveled uh, to many other states and um, to other parts of the world for my work, it really every time I come back, I really appreciate what being a Minnesotan is. Someone dancing inside us has learned only a few steps. The do your work in 4-4 four, four time, the what do you expect waltz. The do your work in 4-4 four, four time, the what do you expect waltz. He hasn't noticed yet the woman standing away from the lamp the one with black eyes who knows the rumba and strain steps in jumpy rhythms from the mountains of bulgaria if they dance together Something unexpected will happen And if they don't, the next world Will be a lot like this one And if they don't, the next world Will be a lot like this one